wonderful acts of compassion when a father, let's say, decides his daughters are becoming too westernized, takes them out into a parking lot and shoots them dead. Or a, or a Buffalo TV executive has a wife wanting to divorce, so he chops her head off, literally. We have numerous cases of honor killings as examples in this nation alone. Things that, of course, are against our laws, but had they happened over in, say, Cairo, Egypt, nothing would have happened to these people. After all, they were simply following Sharia law, the law Imam Faisal Rahouf wants to see more of in this nation. Of course, one of the big issues about the Ground Zero Victory Mosque is exactly where this $110 million is coming from. Privately funded, so we're told. I assure you, it's not coming from $5 PayPal donations by old grandmas throughout the United States. And the chances of us ever finding out where that money comes from is probably going to be nil because, of course, we have a, an administration that is very Muslim-friendly that isn't going to push the issue. Imam Faisal Rauf says all the right things in the media. He comes across as this mild manner, very mild-tempered, uh, amenable, grandfatherly type. But don't ever be fooled. He teaches Islam, and Islam teaches death to all infidels. Islam is about the domination of a land. It's usually when a great military victory is, is accomplished that they build a victory mosque. As we discussed on Monday, the victory mosque at Ground Zero signifies one of the greatest military victories in the history of Islam, when these gutless cowards hijacked the planes and flew them into the Trade Center Towers, killing 3,000 innocent souls. Imam Faisal Rauf has also been linked to the Gaza flotilla, trying to sneak arms and weapons into the Palestinians in Gaza. He refuses to denounce Hamas for the terrorist group it is. Now don't be fooled by Imam Faisal Rauf. Don't be fooled by his rhetoric. I've sat and debated face-to-face -face with members of CARE, the self-appointed Muslim watchdog group that goes after any media personality who dares speak out against them. I've looked into their, their evil eyes. I've seen evil personified in their presence. Yes, they will sit there and lie and try to make people believe that Islam is just a peaceful religion and that those who perpetrate these acts of terror are just a few stray, stray act, bad actors, just a few bad apples. But when you study what Islam is about, what it teaches, you understand that those acts of terror epitomize and personify what the Islamic religion is about. And Imam Faisal Rauf is one of their great teachers of this type of horror. We've got our prayer time coming up after the break. Please watch this important commercial announcement, and I'll be right back. Now you can be part of this great movement to turn this nation back to God and biblical truth. One way you can help is by donating your old gold and jewelry to goldforsouls.com. Goldforsouls.com was set up to make it easy for people like you to give to support this great effort. It works much like the other popular sites where you can send in your old gold and jewelry, except instead of getting a check back for a fraction of the value of the items you send in, we will send you a donation receipt for the fair market value of your jewelry. For example, if you send one of these many popular companies $100 worth of jewelry, you'll get back a check for around $10. By donating your valuables to goldforsouls.com, we will send you a donation receipt that you can write off your taxes for the full $100. 
What you donate to goldforsouls.com will not only get you a tax deductible donation receipt for the fair market value of your gold and jewelry, but it will pay you eternal dividends since the funds will be used to help lead this nation back to God and biblical truth and the souls of men to faith in Jesus Christ. To take your stand for Christ and help lead this nation back to God and His truth, please go to www.goldforsouls.com. That's G-O-L-D-F-O-R-S-O-U-L-S, www.goldforsouls.com, and follow the easy instructions. Or you can call 1-877-654-1141 and request your Gold for Souls shipping pack to use your old gold and jewelry to save souls and help lead our nation back to God and biblical truth. Again, please go to www.goldforsouls.com and follow the easy instructions, or you can call toll-free 1-877-654-1141 and request your Gold for Souls shipping pack. Our nation is in spiritual freefall. God's wrath and judgment for our sins and wickedness is imminent. The only answer for this nation is to turn back to God and biblical truth. You can be part of this great movement by taking your old gold and jewelry to save souls and help lead our nation back to God and His truth. Go now to www.goldforsouls.com and follow the easy instructions or call toll-free 1-877-654-1141 and request your Gold for Souls shipping pack. Thank you for taking your stand to see our nation turn back to God, biblical truth, and souls won for Jesus Christ. May God's richest blessings be with you and your family. Welcome back to Live Prayer. It's our prayer time. I want to pray today for those who are following the false religion of Islam who may be watching. Jesus Christ wasn't just a great prophet. He was the Son of God. He died for your sins. And I want to pray for you right now. Father, I pray right now for those watching who may be lost in the lies of Islam. Oh God, open their hearts to realize who you are, who your son is, and how much you love them. Lord, your desire is that none be lost, that all come to repentance and be saved. And I pray for our Muslim friends today, that they will turn from the lies of Islam and embrace the truth of the Bible that says Jesus Christ the same yesterday today and forever Jesus Christ the way the truth the life no one comes to the Father but through me Jesus Christ the name by which men are saved open their hearts let them receive your truth today let them hear your truth today we ask and pray in Jesus name amen and amen my friend I'm here each day to pray for you and to believe God for you and to stand with you for your needs. My email address is on the screen, bkeller at livefair.com. If you need prayer for anything, please don't hesitate to email me. It's an honor and privilege to pray with you and pray for you and stand with you for those needs in your life. We've got one last break. When we come back, I'm going to wrap things up, share a little bit about tomorrow's program with you. So don't go anywhere. We've got more of live prayer. I'm Bill Keller of Live Prayer. And I need your help. God has challenged me to open the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. This is a response to the new mosque that's being built within a block of the where the World Trade Center towers used to stand. The Muslims are spending $110 million to build this mosque. God said to me to go put a Christian Center within a block of Ground Zero, and that's what we're doing. We're going to open the center on Sunday, September 5th. I'll be flying personally to New York to hold those services every Sunday till the end of the year. And then starting January 1st, the center will literally be open 24-7. We'll hold evangelistic services there every day. We'll have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room so that those who come to New York City to visit that hallowed ground will have a place to come and meditate, pray, and just spend some quiet time. This is a great undertaking. I can't do this alone. I need your help. To give a gift to the 9-11 Christian Center, you can go to liveprayer.com. Click on the donation link on the left menu bar. There you will find a secure server, so you can make a gift with your major credit card, or you can give via PayPal. Or if you want to just drop a check to us, that's great. You can send that to our headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. That address is on your screen in the information line of your check, just put 9-11 Christian Center, and your gift will go to this great undertaking. 
Islam is a 1,400-year-old lie from hell. The audacity of the Muslims to build a center in the shadows of the, where the trade center towers that their Muslim brothers knocked down, killing 3,000 innocent people, is a travesty. People are upset. I'm upset, but we're taking action. Sunday, September 5th, we will put our faith to the test as we open the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. I need your help. I need your prayers. I need your support. Thank you. God bless you. Hey, man, listen, do me a favor. I'm asking you right now to pray about what God's calling you to do to help me. It's people like you, friends like you, that stand with me, that make everything we do possible. Two weeks from Sunday, I'm going to ground zero. I can't go alone. I need you to stand with me and help me. Go to my website, www.liveprayer.com. Hit the donation link. There you will find a secure server where you can give on a major credit card or give via PayPal, or you can drop a check in the mail to our corporate headquarters in St. Petersburg. That, num that address is on the screen. I need everyone watching me right now to just pray, and God will guide you. The Bible teaches us to give according to our ability to give. For some, that may be 5 or $10. Others may be 20 or 50 Others, 100 200 500 Still others may be able to give 1000 5 10 20 It doesn't matter. The amount's not the issue. Your obedience is, and God will bless you for your obedience. I need you now more than ever to stand with me and to help me as we take back this nation for God. Listen, there's only one God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There's only one Jesus, the Son of the living God, who was God incarnate, came to this earth as a man, died that perfect death for the, as a sacrifice for the sins of all mankind. I need you to stand with me as we bring that message of hope to this nation. Turn this nation back to God and back to his truth. On tomorrow's program, we're going to be talking about does it matter what God, what Jesus you pray to? I say it does. We're going to get into that tomorrow as we wrap the week up. It's been a good day today as we, uh, as we are winding down to our opening of the 9-11 Christian Center. Please, once again, let me remind you to be praying for our efforts. And I'm again asking those of you who are able to stand with me. Your gifts make a difference. Listen. We don't have private planes, we don't have mansions, we don't have you know, fleets of Bentleys and hundreds of people running around as, as entourages. Every, 93 cents of every dollar goes directly into what we do, impacting lives for Christ. Every day I get emails from people who've got saved from this program, who've found hope and help in their time of need. Every day we are making a difference in people's lives. You make that possible. One of the things we're doing when we go to New York is we're going to be bringing this program to WWOR, the great independent station up in New York. And again, all these things take resources. You can make your voice heard at Ground Zero. You can make your voice heard in this nation as you stand with me. So please go to our website, liveprayer.com, click on the donation link, give the most generous gift you can on your credit card or PayPal, or again, you can just drop a check in the mail to our corporate headquarters in St. Petersburg. And your gift, again, is making a difference in people's lives. It really is. All right, don't forget again, tomorrow we're going to be dealing with the whole issue of does it matter what God you pray to or what Jesus? I mean, everybody's got a God in Jesus, it seems like, but is there only one or are there many gods, many Jesuses? <laughs> That's an important question because if you're praying to someone named God but his name's really Roger, you're in trouble. If you're putting your faith in a, a man named Jesus whose name is really uh, Larry, you've got problems. So don't miss this program tomorrow. It's very important. It really is. Listen, I love you. I care about you so much. I pray you have a wonderful day today. Do me a favor. Be a blessing to somebody today. Go out and just be a blessing to someone today. It will make a difference. It really will. All right, you have a wonderful afternoon, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for more live.